Welcome everybody to week two of my new series, Callous Fight Night. This is a live narration as they all are intended to be, and it is between Samuel Best, our challenger, against our defending inaugural champion, Marco P, on the all take a fat mook. So, uh, Marco was against Posse G in week one. Uh, it was week one, so we didn't have a champion. It was just two challengers. Marco won, and he is our first ever champion, so he's here to defend his title. And we're going pretty fast here. We're already five turns in in what feels like only 15 seconds. It is a Venusaur stall or balance team for Marco P on the top, whereas Sam Best going with a tried-and-true Scombliss team. We see a T-Wave here on Bliss, and then we have a Soft Boiled. Titar has shown nothing thus far, but could be dangerous here for a lot of reasons. It could sub up in this situation. It could go for a choice band move. He could focus punch here. I think it's too early to start trying to DD up, but in theory, that's possible. I mean, we don't know what kind of tower it is based on the team thus far from Sam. It really could still be just about anything. And interesting that Sam switches. So to me, that tells me that he at very least does not have substitute, because I think for sure, if he had sub, he would have gone for that there. It would have been absolutely free. So we can at least rule out a substitute, Blissey. Beyond that, I mean, sub could be a bunch of different sets. It could be a boa, it could be a strictly physical, it could be a mixed sub. But I'm going to rule out the move substitute based on that. Venusaur comes in. Going to leech seed Blissey as she comes in. Most of the team revealed for both guys already. Two hidden for Sam, though we could probably guess what they are. And one in the back for Marco. Swampert comes in for free on a botched Thunder Wave. And he gets additional leech seed damage off. Milo and Venusaur. Venusaur has shown, yeah, only leech seed thus far. There's Sleep Powder, which they're all going to have. It'll also have some kind of grass attack. Whether that is HP Grass or Giga Drain. But he just goes for the safe Leech Seed. And for one turn, Sam opts to stay in and ride it out. But he's not going to stay in forever with the Grass Attack being almost inevitable. But Marco doesn't fall for that. He goes Leech Seed again on the Switch, even though it's very tempting to go HP Grass there. And Sam back to Milo, which is smart. Very safe here against Swampert, so he'll get to kill a free Sleep Turn. But he does actually just wake up immediately, so it wasn't a very long nap. And good thing he did, though, because Swampert finds a critical hit with Earthquake here, which is going to prompt a recover from Sam. The recover there was pretty obvious, so Marco gets to respond to that however he wants, and it turns out that it's just Venusaur again. So Sam did bring spikes. However, Marco's got the Magneton. He hasn't managed to get a lair down yet, but he already knows for a fact that there's Magneton waiting in the wings. So it's going to be up to Sam if it's worth it to him to trade the Skarm for just one layer of spikes. Now granted, if he's got a Dugtrio in the back, that might be worth it, but right now, I'm not so sure. The last poke from Marco turns out to be Titar. We see a new poke from Sam as well, a Claydol. He's going to outspeed him here and go for Earthquake. And it's an over-prediction for Marco, who could have killed him with Hidden Power, but he goes Pursuit instead. That's going to allow the faster Claydol to get an Earthquake off. 26% to Swampert. He gets out of the way at this point. Milo comes in. Marco one step ahead of it goes Venusaur. He knew Milo would come in, which is why he made that switch. Here's Bliss, again on the bad end of Leech Seed. Blissey has not actually taken proper attacks. It's just been whittled down this whole time from Leech Seed. And there's a Sleep Powder to whittle it down even more. Blissey from just Leech Seed damage is down to 36%. T-Tar comes in trying to mooch off that HP pool with the Leech Seed. Unsuccessful. Skarm comes in, spikes up. Fire Blast Retaliation, huge damage, 68%. We've seen three moves. HP, presumably Grass, Pursuit, and Fire Blast here. Thief will steal lefties, and Fire Blast will obnoxiously miss. Pursuit there will be boosted with the damage on the way out, 16%. But Skarm is going to be just fine. So the one lair is down successfully without Magneton attempting to come in. We still don't know the last poke for Sam, but it could easily be Dugtrio. It could also be something like a Gengar or an Aerodactyl. Gengar or Dugtrio make a lot of sense to me. Probably just Dug, but then again, 
Sam has not tried to get cute with that and try to kill the T-Tower or the Mag or even the Bliss. Dugtrio seems pretty good against Marco's team if, in fact, it is a Dugtrio in the back. Sleep Powder there does get avoided, which is pretty lucky for Sam because his Blissey was getting really low, but he does finally get the Sop boiled off. He also gets a Freeze, but it's on a Natural Cure Poke, the opposing Bliss, so it's not a big deal. Follows up with another Ice Beam since there's not a fantastic switch for that. For Marco, he could go to the Ice Resisting Magneton, but he would have to step on Spikes to do that. And Sam's got a Duck Trio here, so he is going to attempt to catch the Magneton on the way in. But it works here as well, where if the Bliss stays in and simply does not thaw, she'll die for free as well. So Sam, very patient with that Duck Trio, gets it in at a time that I definitely approve of and agree with. I think it's win-win, whether it had been the Mag coming in or the Bliss staying in. I think it's good either way. And he's going to pick off the Blissey for free because she never thaws. Psychic here, 20% to Swampert on the way in. Milotic switches in. Venusaur comes in with it. Marco's been very good about switching into the Milotic. Claydol. And it's just Leech Seed. Yeah, Venusaur still hasn't actually shown an attack. It's been only Leech Seed and Sleep Powder this whole time. This seems more effective if Marco had a layer of spikes, or obviously more than one layer of spikes down, to capitalize on all the switching that the Venusaur forces. Between the Leech Seed and the Sleep Powder, Venusaur prompts a lot of switches, and he'd be really punishing Marco, or Sam rather, if he had a layer of spikes down the whole time. <coughs> wow, ooh. I was trying not to cough, guys. I'm sick. I was trying to go this whole narration without it, but I failed. I'm going to try to keep it to a minimum. There we go. We see an attack. We've got a Sludge Bomb. 23% since that is a physical attack, hitting the crappy defense of Blissey. Gets the added effect Poison, and Salamence comes in at this point. Softboiled gets off. Mence we saw earlier does not have leftovers. Looks like a probable choice band set. Big damage potential here. Yes. Hidden Power Flying will be good enough. Down goes Claydol, and we've got ourselves a 5-5. Magneton comes in trying to catch Skarm. No bueno. Sam predicts that with the immediate Earthquake, and down goes the Mag, and that seems like big trouble for Marco. The Skarm is now free to set up additional spikes, and I don't know how Marco is going to deal with that. He was relying on the Magneton specifically to deal with Skarm, and that will no longer be an option for him. It's now Marco taking the time, as you can see, figuring out what to do. That turn was not what he had in mind. That did not go according to plan. And Marco now figuring out how do you bounce back from this situation. Sam has played this game very, very well. Marco thinking it over. He might be forced to go to Salamence here and make a choice band prediction. He could also just go to Venusaur and go for a Sleep Powder here, but I don't know where that gets him. It's just going to prompt in Blissey, and I don't know where Marco goes from there. Interesting that he goes for Swampert here. He must be thinking he's faster, and maybe he can get a Hydro Pump off here, or maybe anticipating Hydro Pump. Blissey comes in, and he gets a Focus Punch off here, but he's going to need to make some kind of play like that. He's representing that he's faster, and that he's got a Water Attack here. The obvious thing to happen here is a Surf or a Hydro Pump. My question, though, why can't Sam just go to Milotic? That's what I would do, and that's what he does. And what's the worst punishment that could happen? Wow, Marco's desperate. Marco's going for a freeze. He does get lefties off in the process, but he is going for the desperation freeze there. Marco really has his back against the wall. Sam in a great position here to take down our defending champ. 53% drill pack. He does get seeded. But that drill pack hits like a truck, and Marco will not live another one. He's saying GG. Marco might be in some trouble. He stays in, dies to the drill pack here. Marco obviously does not like his position. Sam looking good to take this down. Spikes in pursuit, respectively. He didn't switch. There's no damage boost. Leech Seed will be enough, so we've got ourselves a 3-4 situation, but Dugtrio makes it very quickly a 2-4 situation. Salamence here is going to have to clean up. Saying he doesn't have Brick Break. Is that a psychological thing? Is he about to click Brick Break and try to catch the T-Tower? Is he playing mind games here? 
He might just have to click Earthquake and find some crits. A crit would be enough to kill my Lotic, and it would be enough to kill Bliss. Ironically, there's a poke he doesn't need a crit on, but he finds it on the Tyranitar. He'll need another one here on Milo and does not get it. There's Recover, and he's now going to need both a crit and a favorable damage roll. Crit would have been enough there, but it doesn't come, and that might be it. I don't know how we can get out of this game now. I don't know that he can. My Lotic is simply Recover stalling him out of the sand damage that Mentz will eventually succumb to. Crit has not been found, and at this point, a crit would not be good enough. It would need running crits for Mark OP. Stranger things have happened, but it is exceedingly mathematically unlikely that that occurs. And he's running out of time for that to occur because the Salvance is down to 34, now 28%, getting chipped away with that sand every turn. Earthquake and recover. Yeah, looking like Salamence is going to die any time. There's a critical hit. He's got an opportunity here. It might be too little too late at this point, even if he finds it. But he'll need another crit, and he does not find it. He had the opportunity there for running crits. Like I said, exceedingly mathematically unlikely, but stranger things have happened. He could theoretically get a crit and a max roll here, but it's way too little too late, I think. Dugtrio bites the dust. Here's Milo, and the only pokes remaining are the Milo and the Swampert. Swampert here would have to outspeed and get an immediate Ice Beam freeze. He's protecting for lefties to try to get out of Surf range, and then he would need an immediate 10% freeze after winning the 50-50 Protect. A lot of things that would have to go right, but they do not. The 50-50 does not cooperate, and Milo finishes off Swampert. Marco P is going to be a one-week champion. Samuel Best is our new Callus Fight Night champion, and he will face a new challenger next week. And right here, live on stream, we're going to find out who that is. We are going to dip in, where is it, right here. Alrighty, so see the numbers next to their names? That's how many entries they have, because it's based on when they went into the challenger pool. So, like... Let's do the total here. So there's 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So we're going to do 1 through 15, right? If it comes up 1 or 2, it's Zokaru. 3 or 4, Zomog. 5 or 6, Sadly Seas. And so on and so forth. So it's 1 through 15 here to see who the next challenger is going to be. Let me just make sure I'm doing that right. Make sure we have enough. 6, 8, 10. Yep, so 15 total. Alrighty, so we will go to Google... Random number generator. One through, we'll start it out at some random number. One through 200. Okay, there we go. So, one through 15, we're going to generate a random number, and we're only going to do it once. So, whatever this lands on is going to be the challenger. Poof. Going to be 11. So, let's see who that is. 11 is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Boom! We've got ourselves Dexa. Samuel Best against Dexa next week for Callus Fight Night. Looking forward to it. I'm going to let him know. That should be an exciting match. I have no idea if those guys have ever played before, but I can't wait to see it. Sam Best and Dexa, a.k.a. B is for Brutus, next week. Rate, comment, subscribe, and if you want to join the Challenger Pool, check out the Callus Discord channel, which is what you're seeing right now. I will link it in the description. Oh, I'm sick in the description. And I will see you guys next week. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.